class you work out five problems on super mesh analysis problem number 1 four resistors 20 ohm 4 ohm 10 ohm 2 ohm one current source 4 amps and one voltage source 100 volts are connected as shown in figure the question is find the mesh currents the network consists of three meshes this is mesh 1 i1 current is i1 this is mesh 2 i2 mesh 3 i3 I can't apply the recharge voltage la, because the 4 amps current source is connected in between M2 and M3. Therefore, I consider M2 and M3 as a super mesh. The constraint is I2 minus I3 is equal to 4 or I3 is equal to I2 minus 4 or 0 plus I2 minus I3 is equal to 4. Equation 1. Now, I apply the recharge voltage la, at M1 that is mesh 1 the voltage is 100 100 is equal to 20 into i1 minus i2 plus 10 into i1 minus i3 i simplify the equation i got 100 is equal to 30 i1 minus 20 i2 minus 10 i3 equation 2 now i apply the recharge voltage lot mesh 2 and mesh 3 20 i2 minus i1 plus 4 i2 plus 2 i3 plus 10 into i3 minus i1 is equal to 0. Again, I simplify the equation. I got minus 30 i1 plus 24 i2 plus 12 i3 is equal to 0. 3 equation. Equation 1, 2, 3. 3 unknowns. I solve the equation. i1 is equal to 20 amps. i2 is equal to 18 amps. i3 is equal to 14 amps. Now, I apply the recharge current law. Here, i1 is equal to 20. i2 is equal to 18. Therefore, current flow in the 20 ohm resistor is 20 minus 18 that is equal to 2 amps. Here, current flow in the 4 ohm resistor is 18. Current flow in the 2 ohm resistor is 14. 18 minus 14 is equal to 4 amps. Current flow in the 10 ohm resistor is 2 plus 4 that is equal to 6 amps. So, current towards the junction is 14 plus 6 is equal to 20. Current towards the junction is 20, current leaving the junction is 20. Here, Kirchhoff's current law is verified. Problem number 2 5 resistors 1 ohm, 20 ohm, 30 ohm, 40 ohm, 1 ohm, 2 voltage sources 30 volts and 80 volts, 1 current source 15 amps are connected as shown in figure. The question is find the mesh currents that is three mesh m1 m2 m3 the current is i1 i2 i3 the current action is clockwise in all the meshes i have to find the i1 i2 and i3 here i can't apply kirchhoff's voltage law because the 15 amp current source is connected between m2 and m3 Hence, I consider this is a super mesh. The constraint is minus I2 plus I3 is equal to 15. This is equation 1. Now, I apply the recharge voltage law at mesh 1. Here, the voltage is 80. 80 is equal to I1, 1 into I1 plus 20 into I1 minus I2 plus 30 into I1 minus I3 plus 1 into I1. That is the equation. I simplify the equation. 80 is equal to 52 I1 minus 20 I2 minus 30 I3. Equation 2. Now, I apply the recharge voltage law at mesh 2 and mesh 3. Here, 20 into I2 minus I1 minus 30 plus 40 into I3 plus 30 into I3 minus I1 is equal to 0. Now, I simplify the equation. I got minus 50 into I1 plus 20 into I2 plus 70 into I3 is equal to 30. Equation 3. 3 equation, 3 unknowns. I solve the equation. I1 is equal to minus 1.514 amps. So, minus sign indicates the direction is opposite to the original. Similarly, I2 is equal to minus 12.174 amps. I3 is equal to 2.827 amps. Now, I verify Kirchhoff's current law. 
Here this current is 1.514. Here I know the current I2. I2 is equal to 12.174 amps. Therefore, current flow in the 20 ohm resistor is 12.174 minus 1.514. That is equal to 10.66 amps. Similarly, I know the current flow in the 40 ohm resistor. That is 2.827 amps. That is I3. Here, this current is here 1.514. This current is 1.514. Current towards the junction is 2.827 plus 1.514 that is equal to 4.341. So 4.341 plus 10.66 that is equal to 15 amps. Here Kirchhoff's current law is verified. Problem number 3, 5 resistors 10 ohm, 20 ohm, 30 ohm, 40 ohm and 10 ohm. Two voltage sources, 50 volts, 100 volts. One dependent current source, current dependent current source, 15 I1 are connected as shown in figure. The question is find the mesh currents, that is I1, I2 and I3. Here three mesh, M1, M2, M3. I can't apply Kirchhoff's voltage law because the dependent current source is connected in between M2 and M3. I consider this is a super mesh. The constraint is 15 I1 is equal to I3 minus I2. I rewrite the equation 15 I1 plus I2 minus I3 is equal to 0. This is equation 1. Now I apply Kirchhoff's voltage law at mesh 1. Here the voltage is 100. 100 is equal to 10 into I1 plus 20 into I1 minus I2 plus 30 into I1 minus I3 plus 10 into I1. I simplify the equation. I got 100 is equal to 70 I1 minus 20 I2 minus 30 I3 equation 2. Now I apply Kirchhoff's voltage law at mesh 2 and 3. Here 20 into I2 minus I1 minus 50 plus 40 into I3 plus 30 into I3 minus I1 is equal to 0. I simplify the equation. I got 50 is equal to minus 50 I1 plus 20 I2 plus 70 I3 equation 3. This is equation 1. This is equation 2. This is equation 3. 3 equation 3 unknowns. I solve the equation. I1 is equal to 0.728 amps. I2 is equal to minus 7.53 times. Minus sign indicates the direction is opposite to the original. Therefore, 7.53 times. I3 is equal to 3.386 amps. Here, this is 3.386 amps. Now, I verify Kirchhoff's current law. Here, the current is 0.728. This current is 7.532. 7.532 plus 0.728 that is the current flow in the 20 ohm resistor that is 8.26 amps. Here the current leaving the junction is 0.728 3.386 minus 0.728 that is equal to 2.658. At this point the current is 8.26 plus 2.658 that is equal to 10.92. Again this is 15 into I1 that is 15 into 0.728 that is equal to 10.92. Here current flow in the 20 ohm resistor is 8.26, 30 ohm resistor is 2.658, 40 ohm resistor is 3.386, the 10 ohm resistor is 0.728 amps. Here Kirchhoff's current law is verified. Problem number 4. 3 resistors, 4 ohm, 4 ohm, 12 ohm, 2 current sources, 4 amps, 2 amps, 1 voltage source, 20 volts, are connected as shown in figure. The question is, find the mesh currents, that is M1, this is M2, this is M3. The current direction is clockwise, I1, I2 and I3. Here, the 4 amps current source is connected between M2 and M3. 
Now I consider this is a super mesh. The constraint is I3 minus I2 is equal to 4 amps. I can rewrite the equation minus I2 plus I3 is equal to 4 or I3 is equal to 4 plus I2. Here I1 is equal to minus 2 amps. Now I apply Kirchhoff's voltage law at mesh 2 and mesh 3. Here the voltage is 20. 20 is equal to 4 into I2 minus I1 plus 4 into I3 minus I1 plus 12 I3. I simplify the equation. I got 20 is equal to minus 8 I1 plus 4 I2 plus 16 I3. I know I1. I1 is equal to minus 2. I substitute I1 in this equation. Therefore, 20 is equal to minus 8 into minus 2 plus 4 I2 plus 16 I3. I simplify the equation 4 is equal to 4 I2 plus 16 I3. I know I3. I3 is equal to 4 plus I2. I substitute I3 in this equation. 4 is equal to 4 into I2 plus 16 into 4 plus I2. I can find I2. I2 is equal to 60 by 20 that is equal to 3 amps. Once I know I2 I can find I3. I3 is equal to 4 plus I2. 4 plus 3 that is equal to 7 amps. So, I1 is equal to 2, I2 is equal to 3, I3 is equal to 7. Now, I verify Kirchhoff's correct law. Here, this is minus 2, I1 is equal to minus 2, minus sign indicate, the direction is opposite to the original, therefore, current towards this node is 2. Here, I2 is equal to 3, this is 3. So, 3 plus 2, that is equal to 5. Current 4 in the 4 ohm resistor is 5 amps. Here this is 4. This is 5. Current 4 in the 4 ohm resistor is 5 plus 4 that is equal to 9. I3 is equal to 7. Here I1 is equal to 2. Current towards the junction is 9. Current leaving the junction is 7 plus 2 that is equal to 9. Here this is 7. Current towards the junction is 7. Current leaving the junction is 4. 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. Here Kirchhoff's current law is verified. Problem number 5. Three resistors, 4 ohm, 6 ohm, 14 ohm, and two current sources, 12 amps, 8 amps, and one voltage source, 10 volts, are connected as shown in figure. The question is find the mesh currents. That is, this is mesh 1, this is mesh 2, this is mesh 3. The current is I1. I2 and I3. We have to find I1, I2, I3. Here the 8 amps current source is connected between M1 and M2. Here this is considered as a super mesh. The constraint is I2 minus I1 is equal to 8. I can rewrite the equation I2 is equal to 8 plus I1. Here I3 is equal to 12 amps. Now I apply Kirchhoff's voltage law at mesh 2 and 1. Here the voltage is 10 volts. 10 is equal to 14 I2 plus 6 into I2 minus I3 plus 4 into I1 minus I3. Here the current direction is clockwise. I know I3. I3 is equal to 12. I substitute I3 in this equation. Then I simplify the equation. I got 130 is equal to 4I1 plus 20I2. Here I know I2. I2 is equal to 8 plus I1. I substitute I2 in this equation. This will become 4I1 plus 20 into 8 plus I1. Now I simplify the equation 130 is equal to 4 I1 plus 160 plus 20 I1. Therefore, this is minus 30 is equal to 24 I1. This is 130 minus 160 that is equal to 24 I1. Therefore, I1 is equal to minus 30 divided by 24 that is equal to minus 1.25 amps. Here, I1 is equal to minus 1.25. I2 is equal to 8 minus 1.25 that is equal to 6.75 amps. I3 is equal to 12 amps. Now I verify 
creatures current trap. Here current towards this point is 12 amps. Here I1 is equal to minus 1.25. The minus sign indicates which is opposite to the original direction. Therefore, this is current towards this point. Therefore, current towards the junction is 12 plus 1.25, 13.25. Therefore, current flow in the 4 ohm resistor is 13.25. Here, current towards the junction is 13.25. Current leaving the junction is 8 amps. So, 13.25 minus 8, that is equal to 5.25. Current flow in the 6 ohm resistor is 5.25. Here, this is I2. I2 is equal to 6.75. So, current towards this point is 6.75 plus 5.25, that is equal to 12 amps. Here, current leaving the junction is 1.25, current towards the junction is 8, 8 minus 1.25, that is equal to 6.75. So, current towards the junction is 8, current leaving the junction is 6.75 plus 1.25, that is equal to 8 amps. Here, Kirchhoff's current law is verified. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.